And that means lots of parties, mm -hmm. lots of eating. In fact, the average person will spend over $81. Now listen day. to this. Uh, they say Americans will buy 88 million pounds of cheese mm. for the big game. For you can put it on everything. Put it on everything. Pizza, nachos, <laughs> buffalo, chicken, dip, uh, oh. queso, and other cheesy foods. Football mm. fans will be whipping it up, and it all adds up. So we want to know what are you uh, doing for the big uh, for the big game? I love food. I do too. I love getting it. Okay, let me let me just say I'm so excited for the big game, but. I'm so excited for the Puppy Bowl. Oh, I love the Puppy Bowl earlier in the day, and I, that's why I love getting together early with everyone. Sure. I mean, you just feast for like eight hours right. that day, and on a medley of everything, and chicken wings, and dips, and every kind of dip. Mm -hmm. Veggies and dip, and chip and dip, and buffalo dip, and whatever you got. Right. If you, there's something to dip, I'm going to dip. Dip away. Dip away. But I do love the puppy bowl because it's so cute, and I feel like then it gets then you, you get into the game, the, right? For the game. Yeah. I, I'm going to uh, a friend's house, and he sent out the invitation on Facebook, and it said, "Come have your picture with with Gronk." Um, and it's a it's the giant cutout. Was it cardboard? Cutout? It's a cardboard cutout, <laughs> that's but that's how awesome. they, that's how they're that's how they're advertising the party. Yeah. So that's where I'll, that's where I'll be, and there's always great food, and so you know, it's a lot of people. And, and you are a prime example because I know you've said you're you're not the biggest sports fan. No. You're not going to watch all the games every every Sunday, but I. I think that's what's nice about the Super Bowl, and regardless of whether your team's playing or not, it's a good excuse to get together, and it's really fun. Sure, I plan this out so while the game itself is on, that's the time where I can go up and get something to eat, and yeah. then I'll go sit back down again, and you know, I peruse everything, check everything out, and that's mm -hmm. what I'm, that's what makes me happy. You gotta have a plan in place too. It's right. like you have to go into the food. And get your plate, and almost like look at the food first, and then plan your plate, sure. plate accordingly. Right. What you're going to go for, and then you got to get a good seat. Right. And, and I'm always uh, always looking forward to seeing who's who is bringing what. And mm -hmm. look, I love I love a good uh, a good chicken wing. That's that's a big plus for oh, me yeah. too. Yeah, especially when you then pop them in the oven and get them crispy. Yes. Just before you yes. eat them. Oh, like that and, and so good. If you got a good dip or a good guacamole dip, I'm all about I'm all about yeah. that too. And I also like look, I like watching the commercials. I like being there with everybody and hear somebody complaining about some of the commercials yep. and saying I like this, I don't like that. That's I've always fun to me too. Online. Right. I, I do. I, I think that's what's so fun about the entire day is there's so many things to look forward to. And over the past couple of years, we've made um, like friendly bets right. on what the first commercial will be. Sure. So I'll say, okay, I'll, you know, a dollar that it's going to be a car commercial, a beer commercial, an insurance commercial, right. whatever it might be. So it's kind of fun to like almost play little games to see what's while you're be. going. Right. Yeah. And then the musical performance too, which uh, this year will be, uh, you know, Maroon 5. Five. Maroon 5 is going to be, mm -hmm. you know, will be part of it too this year. Did you hear that they want them to sing the SpongeBob song, <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants? Yes. Which I think would be actually pretty funny if they do. Which I, which I think would be actually funny it. if they do it. I do we'll think it'd see. be fun. They're good sports. I feel like if anyone would, it'd be them. Yeah, All right, Brendan, I know you're a football fan. Are you looking forward to Sunday? Absolutely. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just kind of walk around the neighborhood knocking on doors until someone lets me join their party. Look at the window, seeing if they're going to yeah, be yeah, screen 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 screen. Yeah. My family, suspiciously, none of them have anything going on, so I have to improvise. But it's always a lot of fun to be around uh, good people, to have that great food, and to just share in what hopefully is a great game. I hate when it's a blowout, you know. I know. Unless, of At course, least make it exciting. Unless, of course, the Pats are running away with it. It's true. <laughs> well, what do our social media friends have to say? What are their plans for Sunday? Maybe I'll end up at one of their homes. Let's find out together. Josephine Slop is up first, making some solid points about the game here, first of all. It starts too late in the day. Either start it earlier or move it to the Sunday before President's Day, so at least some people won't have to get up for work the next day. Interesting ideas. Ryan petit Bon shares, I couldn't care less about the game or the commercials, but I am always down for free wings and chips. Chili, yes, I agree with this. Charlene Williams takes us down technology memory lane with her comment. Ten years ago was my first and last time getting invited out to a party. That was the year people were wearing 3D paper glasses to watch the commercials. Do you remember that? Yes, it was so stupid. And lastly, <laughs> it was just lame. The inimitable Jean Wiley Sadler closes things out with what she'll be doing. And I can just picture this. I think we all can. I'm going to be watching while sitting on my couch shouting obscenities. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like a great time. Thanks, everyone. We love when you chime in. Please leave your comments on the Buzz topic each morning on Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show, usually between 7.30 and 8.30. Try to get it in there so I can use yours. You can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All of those are easily found at The Roadshow. For now, we want to send things back into the kitchen.